So once you get to the final chapter of Paranormicite, you're gonna be confronted with putting these two seals together in order to pull out the actual scroll, which is gonna tell you how to destroy this whole Rite of Resurrection and the curses and everything like that. Essentially for the talisman, you just wanna use the order, the Tycho Drum Seal, then the Breach Leaf Seal, the Reed Seal, Carp Seal, and finally the Light Seal. The puzzle behind this one is you have to actually read about the Hanjo incident and all of these things are listed out in order as to how they actually happened based on the people who died. And so basically the Tycho drum guy died first and then it was the breech leave, reed person, carp, and then finally the beckoning light. As soon as you open up that seal, well, you're treated to a not so spectacular ending with the couple final protagonists actually biting the dust because the mastermind reveals herself to be Yoko from the very beginning, the very same person that you save. Of course, the narrator has to button here and let you know that, you know, hey, if you didn't like that, go and change something about that. And that's exactly what you have to do. Now head back to the story chart and go to Kinshibori Park Part 3. This is just after Yoko has been killed and uh, Shogo's there alone just looking at the curse stone. You're gonna wanna pick up the curse stone, you know, go through that whole thing, get the whole introduction to curses and the rite of resurrection. And then if you spin around, you're actually gonna see the icon for the beckoning light in the distance. Click it and uh, you'll get a little prompt for it. And then just move things over and then look at Takumi. Don't actually approach him this time around, but look back at the beckoning light. Click it one more time and then you're gonna get prompted to touch it. As soon as you decide to do that, this is gonna open up another storyline yet again, upon which you can approach the actual true ending of this game. Before you actually get to that ending, you're gonna have to answer the storyteller's questions one more time. And this time he is curious, who is Simon's soul, body, and mind? Starting out with the soul, this one's actually pretty easy to go ahead and find. It's gonna be the beckoning light is the curse associated with Simon's soul. And if you read the story, it just kind of makes sense as well. Next up, the body is Shogo Oki. Yes, at the very beginning of the game. Of course, if you remember, Shogo Oki was also named as one of the people who was related to Simon. And on top of that too, earlier Mio did mention how he does have very strong spirit sense, and so he is naturally the candidate, as the body also has to have strong spirit sense, not just be blood related to Simon. And last but not least is the question of the mind. What is the name of the person who is the mind of Simon? Well, it's whatever name you entered into the very beginning of the game. If you do need help, uh, just go into the files and then scroll down in the how to play section of it. And at the very bottom, it'll say whatever name you typed in there if you just wanted to use a fun one, but enter in your own name. And then the storyteller is gonna explain everything that happened, which makes a lot of sense. As soon as the curses started coming out, then Simon's mind was reawakened. And then his mind merged with Shogo in order to kind of control the path that was going on. And Simon was able to interfere and give guidance on these paths kind of going through there. So it's all very nicely explained. And once you finally go into the conclusion of it all, then Shogo is going to recall everything that has happened. All of the facts have been put together, but more importantly, you get to see what happened to all of the protagonists in the story given the fact they didn't stumble into these curses and this time around nobody dies i'm gonna let this one play out so if you want to watch the ending of this then feel free to do so but it honestly the game wraps up really nicely although it does leave a couple of questions but in general you know all the characters are able to find their peace with all of the different crazy plot lines that had happened throughout this entire game here's the ending enjoy